All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube for our next deck, which is going to be Dovin's Army. So this is uh, kind of a crazy deck. This is a, a donation deck here where, you know, we're not, this is not necessarily a deck that we're expecting a whole lot of wins from, but uh, we want to try it out. So really what we're trying here is to kind of have like an artifact matters kind of deck. Uh, we have four Mox Amber. So a lot of those, um, but then we have, you know, we have our legendary things to kind of help it out. We have Tetsuko um, that can make all of our one toughness creatures unblockable or one power creatures unblockable, such as like our Thopters that we're making from Dovin or Tezzeret. We have Psy that can make some, some Thopters whenever we cast artifact spells. Um, so, uh, you know, get some more Thopters that can be unblockable. Um, and then we have Skilled Animator, which is a card I don't know if I've hardly ever seen at all. So three mana, one three, whenever ETBs, you make one of your artifacts a five five. So like, even if we have like a Mox Amber that's not doing anything, we can just turn the Mox Amber into being a five five. Or of course, one of our Thopter tokens, um, a Prying Blade, anything like that. We have Familiar to make our Historic Spells cost less. We have Archaeologist that whenever it enters, uh, you put return an artifact from your graveyard to your hand. Um, we have other kind of Dovin, which I actually like this Dovin, Dovin Architect of Law. I think this card's a little underrated. We have Karn, we have Weatherlight, um, bunch of different things. We have, I think we have some, you know, we have some Zaffron Voids over here and a Reliquary Tower in case we have a lot of cards in hand. So we have just a lot of, a lot of little different things here. Um, so yeah, this is going to be, this one's going to be a little different. Let's, let's give it a try. May not do so well with the deck, but you know, you never know. We could, we could see if it works. Um, I don't have any plans right now on playing Soul Time Midrange. All right, so the Bant Familiar deck we're saving that one actually that that deck may change so we're going dovin's army and then four color discard the naya legends and that should um finish us out today so yeah, Yud is Yud gives you. There's the link to the modern cards that are, were previewed today. If you want to see them. Um, I'm a little behind on the YouTube uploading. Let's get get to going there. Uh, I need to make a Grixis control deck. And you make a Grixis control one. Um, all right, Fortress. Our opponent's probably like, what is going on here? <laughs> Our opponent's probably like, I was not expecting that. All right, I'm making the image for Grixis Control right now, thumbnail. And got that done. Okay, um, we did not draw, 
third land. Probably should have had upkeep stop on to scry. Good news is our opponent only does have, um, do only have three cards. I'm gonna put the Mox Amber over there because it doesn't do anything until we get more mana. Oh, I guess my upkeep stop wasn't there again. Whoa, they made the Mox Amber animation way bigger. That's cool. Before it was that animation, but it was just really small by the Mox Amber. So that's different. If you show we have 23 remorse, lands in this deck? Show restraint. That's not very many lands. We need to move quickly. That's why we don't have any lands. All right, how do we beat Teferi? So Sai is whenever you cast an artifact spell. Yeah, so we're gonna have to have like Karn and Dovin start making some minions, right? I think that's what we're gonna want. Um, Unfortunately, I can't really do both unless I want to get rid of all my tokens. I could do uh, Psy and Dovin and only use one one treasure one treasure for that. So now Mox Amber's turned on. So I could use two treasures and play the Karn. So do I want to do one treasure in Psy or two treasures in Karn? I guess maybe two treasures in Karn. Karn's just pretty great. Until you have lived, evil cannot withstand a righteous army. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking Karn's just the play here because, like, you know, I, I just don't think they have a the counter spell right now, and I think just. Playing Karn's probably the best thing to be doing. Ooh, do we get to kill Teferi? They do untap two mana, so if they have, like, Mortify, they can kill my... No time for a break. I'm a, I'm a big construct. I'm inspired by a good assault. Yeah, playing side main phase. Um, I think I'm gonna be taking Karn up here.
Yeah, play, play in the side, the side main phase so we get to... Do you want me to phase you thing. out of time? Um... How convenient. An excellent choice. Don't really want to make a Kaya's Wrath from them even better. Man, they're they just have a ton of cards in hand now. Keep up the pace. Teferi and that that precognitive perception. Remember when they only had like two or three cards a little bit ago? Now they just have infinite cards. Is worth it. Hmm. Negate. So now, like, playing Daring Archaeologist can get the Weather Light back. Awaken! Yeah, we haven't been doing too good today uh, with our record. Played a, a lot of close games, but you know we just had like opponents draw pretty well, us flood out, us not hit land drops, like you know stuff like that. Like it just hasn't been our day. Let's skip to the good part. I didn't play Seth's deck. I played a different Demir midrange that was also 7-3 at the Pro Tour. It wasn't Seth's. It was another one. Um, I didn't like it too much. It was really... Uh, it had, like, some good cards, you know, like Thief of Sanity, Hostage Taker, um, Thought Erasure. The, those three cards are amazing. But there are just so many cards that are... Not very good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have potentially seven mana. You like Seth list more? I'm very skeptical on either of the lists of the of those decks actually beating Soltai. I got, you know, I saw Seth's article. I saw how he said that that, that you were pretty even with Soltai, and I I just can't imagine that that, that, that deck's even with Soltai. But you know, like I don't think he's. You know, I don't. I don't think he's, you know, not telling the truth or anything like that. Like I, I think he, him playing the deck is probably even against random soul type players. But I'm just not keeping this to fairy. Just won the game. Thing. We're playing a whole lot of blue-white cards, but none of them are, are as good as Teferi. Just having Teferi in our deck instead of, like, Dovin and Karn, and, you know, would have been a lot better. But we're doing something different. Trying something new. Um, we've got these negates in here. 
and spyglass. I think we're going to take out this prying blade. Um, do I want binding? No, they're a mortify deck. I probably don't want binding. It just, it's, if you bind, even if you get to the spot where you get to binding to fairy, if your opponent just has mortify to destroy your binding and get to fairy back, it's just so brutal. What are four other cards that aren't so good? Tetsuko. Don't really need Tetsuko. Seal away. Never mind. Yeah, seal away is just out. Do I want Unbreakable Formation? For Kaya's Wrath? Yeah, I, was, I missed seal away there. Yeah, good call. Thanks, y'all. Um... Oh yeah, we have a lot of cards that are meh. The Archaeologist is meh. So is the Animator and the Tetsuko. And the Mox Amber. Basically the best thing Tetsuko does for us in this matchup is allow us to uh, use Mox Amber. We're re we are really relying on Dovin. Um, Dovin's just about our best card. It's pretty hard to win with Dovin, but it's what we're going to be trying to do. Well, that's game. That was our only hope. So skilled animator can turn this familiar into a 5-5. Five five. We can do that. Didn't quite work. Our plan of... Our plan of just play Dovin and have Dovin win the game did not work. Now the Abzian Knights deck didn't, didn't run too well. I didn't really like it too much. I, I don't think the Knight of Autumn is worth it. Worth it. I don't think the green's worth it. I think I want to see more Midnight Reapers um, instead there. And I wasn't very impressed with Dauntless Bodyguard. I think just a, a better two drop, like a Danto Vanguard, would be better uh, in that slot. And also, I would recommend having more Ajani's. So basically, just kind of going back to, to Orzov. All right, turns out rares of mythics beat commons, unfortunately. I, 
I, I do think Adato is better than Dauntless Bodyguard. Um, would be fine with like Tithe Taker or you know something else there as well. Just okay. So we have Psy into Weatherlight into Tezzeret. No, Rampant Growth is not in standard. No. The close thing is Thunderherd Migration. If you have a if you can reveal a dinosaur with Thunderherd Migration, then that turns into Rampant Growth. Hey Fire Lich. So that's the closest thing there. Um, I don't know why we have Reliquary Tower. I, I guess if, like, because we don't have very much card draw. So maybe, like, Karn gets a lot of cards in your hand. I don't know. This is, this is certainly some jank. White's Thunderherd Migration not played because the dinosaurs aren't very good. Because when you print cards like Ravenous Chupacabra and Hostage Taker, it's hard to play dinosaurs. Especially just Ravenous Chupacabra being an Ixalan just it's held back all the dinosaurs. You know, like you can have um, your four mana, four five dinosaur, but if they just have a four mana, two two that kills it, it's not so good. Oh, I, I love me some dinosaurs. I I wish the dinosaurs were, were better. I love playing dinosaurs. I've played plenty of dinosaurs, but I'm just saying that that's why dinosaurs aren't played very much, and therefore Thunder Herd Migration. Go, Tessie, go. This will be over quickly. I'm I'm sitting back to protect Tazaret and I'm keeping like these three back that can crew the weatherlight. Yeah, now Kai's Wrath. Yep, Kai's Wrath also has made it pretty hard these days. a few tricks on Kaladesh. Alright, let's go ahead and just crew this weather light up and get to attack in. Um, I know they get to gain more life with Alenda. But basically, I wanted to activate Weather Light to be able to dig through the library. Man, Psy, Psy Master Thopterus has really been going off here. Yeah, we are playing against the Vampire Precon deck. But... At least Psy Master Thopterus looked pretty cool there. Yeah, uh, our opponent ultimated Tezzeret against us earlier today. Alright, let's go Cleansing Nova. 
binding deputy. Take out this prying blade. Like always, that card shouldn't be in here. Um, things don't die too much. Let's take out this archaeologist. And... The Deputy of Detention Cleansing Nova combo is not much of a combo. And trim a Mox Amber. And the Familiars. Maybe I don't need these Cleansing Novas. I should probably have them in. So yeah, one side, one familiar. And another Mox Amber. That's true, if we could Cleansing Nova and have Unbreakable Formation, that's a, that's a combo. You know, we had to have eight mana in our 23 land deck. But if we could, that's a combo. Ah, uh, so this this is not a vampire precon deck. I had I had that and misspoke there. Yeah, that's true. Treasure map is make does make eight mana quite doable. That's a good point. Scry one. Bottom. This vampire token too big. All right, at least we're doing some good scrying, working towards something. I'm, at, I'm sitting at my PC shuffling a pile of banned and restricted blue cantrips. Nice. Oh, right, back to YouTube. Let's get the Orzhov Afterlife deck uploaded. I haven't started that upload at all. Slacking. Brass is contempt. Oh no! I didn't have an upkeep stop. I wasn't drawing anything this this turn anyway. Uh. 
Okay, again, that's it. All ready to go. So yeah, these Tetsukos are legendary, that's why I didn't play another one. Because, you know, they don't... Multiples don't do a whole lot for us. There we go. It's a card we can play. Hey, look at that. That's gonna... Hmm. Let's just do this. So, we'll take Alenda. Out of here for good. Rude. All right, back to the chat. <laughs> uh, you'll do fine, Matthew. Wait, let's crack the treasure first. So, so they got three cards in hand. Maybe I should be, like, going Deputy Detention. I could certainly see, like, wanting to Cleansing Nova destroy all artifacts and enchantments, like, if I didn't have the binding here. And after I have another tur turn of, uh... Of cracking this last treasure to get that out of here. Guess it's time for for Dovin. Oh, I'm impressed. I wanted to minus. Anyone would be so foolish as to face. That was a misclick. These results are an anomaly, not to These be repeated. have their uses. Let's try again. I look forward to see At first you don't succeed, try again. Kind of has nothing. I guess I'll just take this thing. They're at 38 life. That's a lot of life. Seek to innovate. So we'll just go and tick up now. Next turn we'll tick up again, and then the the following turn we can ultimate Dovin. Vona's pretty scary. They went out to Cleansing Nova. There is elegance in simplicity. Because otherwise, Vona just gets to 
kill basically everything. Uh, don't just don't just tap all of my blue lands, duck. Thank you. Because they just pay seven life, destroy non-land permanent after attacking for five vigilant. Yeah, so they're like, all right, destroy your Dovin, destroy your Ixalan's binding, and so on. It's not clairvoyance. All right, I so we're gonna get the search algorithm. Tezzeret. Cleansing Nova and Joyra's familiar. Mox Amber. It's either familiar or Mox Amber. Right now we're at one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Let's go with the Mox. I'm just gonna destroy all those things. So getting the mox lets me cast the Cleansing Nova to destroy all those things and um, play Tezzeret as well. Uh, that card's kind of good. Do you know if anybody has looked at the impact of Ooh, land draw pumping. slash boarding cards? on thinning the deck to improving chances of subsequent non-land draws. Yeah, so, yeah, speaking of, like, um... All right, so we got three cards, three to to artifacts genius. now, so we get to... Um... Draw two. Yeah, there's certainly been, um... Stuff about that, for sure. Uh, you know, like fetch lands, rampant growth, all that kind of stuff, thinning your deck to help help um, draw more spells. Just kind of, I guess, if you want to look look at stuff for like um, deck thinning, look for articles that have to deal with deck thinning. That's like the um, that's what it's kind of talking about there. I wanted my opponent to attack, so I attacked with the 5-5. Five five. I wanted them to send in the Twilight Prophet. Hey, we got a game. We got a match. Thanks, Kayo. Uh, where are we at? Still 29 subs? Okay. Here we go. Alright, we gotta win. Can we make it two? Can we get our entropy back? Let's see. Yeah, what if, what if this deck is the one that nabs three wins? <laughs> That'll be awesome. Hmm. Playing V Gates. Gates has just got to go way over the top of us, right? Yeah, we did get to Ultimate Dove in, so that was cool. All right, you got this, Matthew. All right, 
Oh, just a lot of things. Just, uh... You know, the games just didn't go our way. Kind of thing. It's just been one of those days where the opponents had the cards they needed and we haven't. All that kind of stuff. Is Meandering River really necessary? I don't know. Likely not. So, our opponent's a Grixis deck with a weird mana base. I guess it's not uh, Teamer Gates. Hey, I Tatter! Welcome back. Thanks for that, thanks for that uh, resub there. Fourth month in a row. Getting us to 30. That means it's going to be pack time. So the question is... Um, did you ever fix your PC thing? Was it the fan? Yeah, so... Well, kind of good and bad news about that. I the, fa the fan was not working. And I fixed the fan. Because it was not it was not working. So that's that's like the good news. And so now it's now it is working. Um But the bad news is like my stream is still there's something wrong with it still. How like some people are saying, like, you know, a little bit ago that um you know, like the stream was just lagging and stuff there. And my stream bitrate, all all stream and the whole time is like right around two thousand um, kilobytes per second. And before and for months, you know, it's it's basically always been around three thousand, but suddenly it's around two thousand um, within like the last week. And yeah, internet connection. I I called the internet company about it maybe about 10 days ago or two weeks ago, like whenever it got, uh, you know, disconnected and really just couldn't stream and, and, and everything. And, and they told me like, basically told me like a band aid thing, like something to do. And it fixed my upload speed again. But then, you know, it's like, it's like real, it just fluctuates a ton. And it's like, I don't. I mean, I could I could try recalling the internet company, but they're just gonna they're gonna tell me like the same band aid thing to do, and then it will be working just Silence. fine, and they'll be like, "See, it's Indeed. working fine," and Make then sure. you know a couple hours later it won't be, but then then it will be, then it won't be, and so on. Certainly, whenever I move. Um back to Texas. That's going to be a big thing. Is I, I need to go somewhere where the internet's good. Yeah, we could zero Tez and, and draw two there. Kind of like just getting the creatures in play. But, yeah, it's certainly an option. Yeah, I'm from Texas. Hey, Mint. Thanks for resubbing there. I do appreciate that. What am I going to do here? I think I'm gonna draw two. I know how this ends. I look forward to seeing from your another mistake. success. Uh, because the the person that donated for band 
the Bant Familiar deck may be changing their deck up. Um, maybe going with a different deck. Maybe still the, the Bant Familiar, or they may be choosing a new deck. Um, yeah, so just, just removing it for tonight. Oh, Gaspy, did you did you want the the familiar deck? I was th I thought you were saying that maybe you want to do. You're saying maybe do a different deck. So that's just an ETB effect. Okay, change cards in the deck. My device is finished, as are you. Gotcha. Okay. Well then, I'll, I'll, all right. So I'll get yours next. Then Gatsby. All right. So Bant. Was it familiar? Bant familiar. Sorry. My bad. I was thinking maybe you wanted to choose a different one. I'm sorry. Uh, sack those, draw a card. Get an upkeep stop for this treasure map. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I'm going to use skilled anima animator. Haven't, haven't found a slot, a spot yet that I've really wanted to use it. Hey, what's up? Sway Cryo. Nice. I like the I like the uh, new branding there. All right, Mox Amber can go to the bottom. I guess Mox Amber is a is a free 5/5. Five five. That's Maybe I should keep that. That is a 5/5. Five five. I know what must be done. Alright, Familiar can turn into... I should draw the card first. A little sloppy here. Playing kind of quick. Familiar can turn into a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, I don't really want to 5-5 five five a treasure, because I think I want the, like, to, the treasures just to draw cards. So, this deck has the most against Soul Tie and Mono Blue. Honestly, I don't. I don't know. I don't really know decks that are honestly that good against Soul Tie. Um. Yeah, I guess like Esper Control. That's, I don't know built towards mono blue you tune as per control towards mono blue i don't i don't really know what's what's good against sultai um like i would i'd rather be on the sultai side against sultai or esper control i'd rather be playing sultai um
Obviously, Sultai loses matches. It's like, you know, you're a three color deck. Some, you know, it's just. That's true. Yeah, the other reclamation decks. I guess our opponent disconnected. Seems like our opponent's disconnected. Are you still in that same match, Matthew? Oh yeah, mass mass manipulation's awesome. Oh maybe maybe um Nexus? Of course. Or sorry, not Nexus, sorry. Gates. That's what I meant to say it was Gates. Maybe Gates. I'm not sure I'm not sure how good Gates is against Mono Blue. I will defend my allies. The choices we make reveal who we are. All right, Mr. Previously. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. Thanks for subscribing. Hope you have a wonderful night. You play Esper. You feel like you have a favorable matchup against Sultai. I mean, I can sack the familiar and a treasure and draw a card, but I can also just sack the treasure and draw a card anyway, so I'll just let that happen. So I did want to play, like, the Tetsukos. I mean, I guess I should, probably should just play one Tetsuko, because I can't have both of them on the battlefield anyway. But, you know, we've seen Ritual of Sith from our opponent. Didn't need to uh, play more. So that game was all Tezzeret. That game was all Tezzeret. I don't know what to do with sideboarding here. Fun's kind of playing a weird deck. They are Grixis. So they're not going to have answers to enchantment, so I'm just going to bring in these Ixalan's Bindings. Cutting a Tetsuko and a Mox Amber and this Prying Blade. We don't need those cards in. I guess I should be playing Negates. Over a skilled animator, a daring archaeologist, and a another Tetsuko. Okay. We are up a game. Alright, so I need to make an Orzov Afterlife thumbnail. Mulligan. Makes Mox Amber a 5 5. Nah.
possible we draw Psy Master Thopterist so holding on to the Mox Amber uh, in case that happens. Makes a good amount of sense. All right, uh, oh, I did that a little early. Could this upkeep stop in there? Todd, I'm building a Jeskai control deck and I can't decide between Shiv and Fire and Lava Coil. What do you think for the current metagame? Um, I guess it kind of depends on your other removal. Um, if, You know, if you're if you're more worried about like Sultai, like Sultai Lava Coils are going to be a whole lot better. If you if you need something for Mono Blue, then you're going to want Shivan Fire. Um, so basically, kind of between those. If you're more worried about Mono Blue or Sultai, that's kind of like your decision there. How's the deck so far? It's been working okay. We've played a couple other janky decks here uh, the last two rounds, which has helped us. Um, but it's been better than expected for our deck so far. But yeah, both is like the best answer. Didn't get that uh, scry in time. Um, Mox, I mean, Mox just doesn't, um, Mox just isn't, isn't too good. You know, there's not a whole lot of cards that turn on the Mox. Uh, it makes it even harder if you're playing stuff like Spell Pierce. Hoi Kanoi, getting that sub in for the second month. So, thank you so much, Hoi Kanoi. Sub number 32 on the day. Ooh, we are getting a pack after... After this league as well. Or after this match. Gotta be cracking open a pack. 32. Sidemaster Thopterist has been really good for us. I've liked Sidemaster Thopterist. Ooh, I like Negate. Tezzeret has been incredible. Hey, T Moneyless. Welcome to the channel, T Moneyless. Um, so I can play Karn, I guess I still have like Negate backup, I just have to sack a treasure. I have not played a Fall of the Thran deck in this format. I, advise. I had a Fall of the Thran deck, I didn't have, we... I played a Fall of the Thran deck last format um, before RNA came out. It was very janky. Uh, we didn't win a whole lot, but we um, we got to destroy a lot of lands and exile the lands. And that was good enough. You know, we had like Resplendent Angel, stuff like that. Shock. I do not feel pain. Well, good thing Karn doesn't feel pain. Hmm. I'll make you hey, Code Junk, doing good. Uh... Yeah, we had fun, for cer certainly, with that. Uh... We should probably be minus two in Karn and making some creatures. I definitely want to keep Negate available. All 
I'm gonna let that resolve. I don't I don't think that that's important enough that we need to negate. Oh, but now Mox Amber doesn't do anything. Tilt. I messed that up. Need to use the mocks. I have constructed your doom before. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. Brilliance comes easily to me. Yeah, so Mox only only makes uh, colored mana, and Karn is not a color. Karn's colorless. That's okay. Sure, I'll take a binding. I don't think we need to really use the negate there. Oh, say hello to my little friend. And I could have had more treasures if I would have been able to, if I would have activated the treasure map before. Yeah, I guess I did have lethal with negate. But, I don't know. Doesn't really need to. Okay, we are two and one with Dovin's army. All right, we got to that 30 sub plateau. Let's get a pack. Still cracking packs of Rivals of Ixalan right now. Getting those Storm the Vaults. Temple Altasaur? I guess that's a card. What do you think of an Azorius Angel deck with Teferi and Counters? Probably pretty good. Yeah, that could that could definitely work. Yeah, because card advantage is what, you know, something that the uh, angel deck can struggle with. And, you know, playing against other control decks and Teferi and counter spells are both good against control decks. So, <laughs> yeah, that card is not very good. That card is not very good. Kind of like this hand. Not very good. So right now we have like Daring Archaeologists on turn three. Ha. Huh. Now they actually do something. They can return an artifact from the graveyard to the hand. I think Daring Archaeologist has probably been the worst card in the deck. By quite a ways. This is just not, not a very good card. I don't know. Tetsuko hasn't really done anything. Except for, I guess, turn on Mox Amber.
it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to beat Zoltai with our little brew here. Zoltai is a deck filled with powerful cards. Our deck, not so much. Oh, it's a one-one counter. I thought it was one-one until end of turn. Okay, I guess that's a little better. It's a little better. Do I want to just play this thing then? Yeah, might as well. Because we're just going to get it back with the other archaeologist. Yeah, the animation for Mox Amber is awesome. Uh, previously, it, it only did that animation... Uh, just right next to the mox, but now it's a you know real big thing in the middle of the screen, and that's pretty cool. Dang it! Why'd I cast that other mox amber? I could have cast this tesseret if I didn't cast that other mox amber. The animation was sweet. Sure, whatever. Hey, okay. Okay. Hey, boy. Uh. Don't take my weatherlight hostage. All right, yeah, sure, whatever. You can have that thing. It's not even any good. Really hoping to draw that land. Stand I'll back, Burrito. So they get to chump block the archaeologist, but then they're taking two, but then Vras is hit taking two. Never playing this Tezzerite is not good for me. Show no mercy. I 
And all their cards are so good. We're sitting over here with frickin' Crying Blade and stuff. Hey! You can try this after Bant Familiar? Absolutely. Alright, we got another donation. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I know, okay. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? I've suffered worse. The Ooh, Thran's temporal sunder. Or I mean sorry, follow the Thran. That's what I meant to say. Follow the Thran. Alright, so Esper control deck with follow the Thran. Alright, here's the Okay, there you go. You put it in in chat, there you go. All right, so they still have five cards in hand, uh, but presumably we're going to be able to kill... We can kill Vraska. Tetsuko is, like, doing the best it ever has. I'll remember this. So I want to have Seal away for the Hydroid Crisis. I also kind of want to play Tezzeret. Well, they'd have to attack with the Thief of Sanity, which I, I don't think they will with the Joyra's Familiar in play. Um... Yeah, Tetsuko and this Blade's a really bad combo. This Blade's just... Pretty bad. Um, Thankfully, we didn't actually spend a card drawing that. Drawing the blaze, the blade. We got it from the Make weatherlight. Way for your captain. Soon you will be left with nothing. Just no respect for sell the wreckage. Oh yeah, I can't cast settle, can I? No, I can't. Hey, anonymous cheer with the cheers. Thanks, anonymous cheer. I, I should have sacked that. Yeah, I should I should have sacked the prying blade and the familiar and drawn a card. Oh yeah, we could put the prying blade on the on the thopter. Because Tetsuko's toughness, prying blade gives a plus one plus zero. Uh, the Archer vs. Mono Blue is, is definitely good. You know, three mana is, is a little bit, um, but it's it's certainly a good card. You know, like the 1-4.
um, and can fight anything. So it's it's also good against like mono white, like playing like their two ones or whatever. I look forward to seeing your mistakes. I hope you don't mind if I enjoy this. We can't beat Vraska and Dovin and everything like that. All right, so we have Esper Thran. As a donation deck. Hmm. Yeah, the video, I agree, like, the video for the song is awesome. Love it. Let's get Prying Blade out of there. Deputy Attention, Negate, Ixalan's Binding, Cleansing Nova, all those cards can kind of do things. Multiple Vraska Relic Seekers is really tough for us to beat. Vraska Relic Seeker is awesome. Yeah, Vraska Relic Seeker is such a good card. Alright, let's give it a try. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, it's horrible. Horrible news. It's already going to be a pretty tough match for us to win, but mulliganing and then not hitting a fourth land drop. We're just not going to win. It's already going to be a tough one. We're already fighting uphill. We did get to two wins, though. So that's pretty nice. Uh, does white... 
do anything too useful for the deck. I mean, the biggest thing is Dovin, because, you know, like, that's, we're a Dovin deck, so that, like, that, that's the biggest thing the Dovin does. Um, or sorry, that the white does. None of the other white cards are too good. I mean, there's only two other, really, like, two other white cards, and there's some white cards in the sideboard, but, yeah, this, this Dovin here is the, the main reason that we're playing white, is to play, because that's our deck, Dovin's army. I look forward to seeing your mistakes. What hurts them heartens me. All hands on deck. You won't be needing that. They already know we have another Tetsuko in our hand. Just just tick up and make a just put Vraska to a loyalty and just, just tick up. Fully for you. Not just a gadget, but ingenuity. Alright, so we do have a couple of Ixalan's Bindings. Maybe we can Ixalan's Binding the Vraska Relic Seeker, and then maybe all these cards in their hand are just lands. Maybe. Crew, attack at will! Yeah, I certainly think that. Tezzeret or six mana Dovin Planeswalker can fit in us for control. This place. You can't stop nature. Absolutely. Yeah, I like those cards quite a bit. We're just not being Vraska and Vivian with this deck, kind of ever. Those cards are just too good for our deck. You know, this is a a different deck, pretty janky. We we can't we can't handle the power that Sultai has, just not even close. And that's okay. Um, you know, not everything is made to you know win tournaments and. And everything, um, I, I, I am interested in making an artifact matters and like Thopter matters deck, but I think this one's a a little ways off. Um, Mox Amber, Prying Blade, Tetsuko, Skilled Animator, Daring Archaeologist, and Joyra's Familiar are all cards that are pretty underpowered and not really cards that I'm too interested in playing. I think Mox Amber, maybe if you have um, if you have the the blue-red um, legendary that whenever you cast a historic spell you draw a card. I think that's Joyra, I think. Like regular Joyra. Um, Antiquities War could be a thing. Um... But yeah, like, it was, uh, Dovin was good, Karn was good, Tezzerar was good. You know, like, our Planeswalkers were good. Treasure Map was good. You know, so, like, those cards were definitely good. Weatherlight did some cool things. Psy Master Thopterus was pretty impressive. I liked that card. Um, the six mana Dovins from the Planeswalker deck. We never never drew it or, or anything, but I, I like this card kind of overall. But yeah, we only have 23 lands in the deck. And 23 lands in, like, this deck with this kind of curve is is really rough. Um, but but there we go, something different. So cool. So that's Dovin's army deck of making a whole lot of thopters and everything. We went two two. So could have been worse. 
All right, so um, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next.